Hello again and welcome. In the last few days I've been rebuilding these two transient generators. So today we're going to be using these two different light bulbs as loads. They're both rated for 120 volts. Let's just go ahead and we'll turn on our generator. And again this transient generator has a transformer inside of it along with a full wave bridge and then it can supply that signal to our test load. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. You get an idea how bright that bulb is. Let's just try it with the other light bulb. This should be quite a bit dimmer. And it is. So we're going to start our testing just using the clear filament bulb. So I'm going to start by just giving it five transients with a thousand volts. And you can see the filament doesn't even begin to glow with that. Let's go ahead and turn this up a little bit. This will be with 2,000 volts. If you go back and look at some of the data that I've collected from the meters that I've tested, you'd find that there were several meters that didn't survive even this 2,000 volt transient. Early on in my testing, I had damaged a Fluke 87V. People had requested that I purchase a brand new one and run it, which I did do. Uh, this is actually the meter that I ran, and this meter did quite well. I was kind of curious why the original Fluke 87V that I tested had failed at such a low voltage. So I ran some fairly extensive tests on that old meter, and I was never able to determine exactly why that meter failed. But again, I don't test at very high energy levels. This transient generator is only capable of putting out about 20 joules maximum. Hopefully repeating these tests with the light bulbs gives you some idea how much energy that actually is. Basically having this little light bulb survive, you would think that your multimeter would as well. So I've gone ahead and reprogrammed the generator for 3000 volts. Let's just try it again. So I've reprogrammed the generator to put out about four and a half thousand volts. Let's see if this damages our light bulb. Unfortunately, it looks like we've damaged the filament. Let me go ahead and enable the output. Yep. You can see it will not turn on. So even with the broken filament, let's just give it a try, because even at 4,500 volts, it may be enough to break that down. So there you can see, even with the filament being blown, at 4500 volts it's enough to arc across that. So you can see I've gone ahead and turned on our half cycle line simulator. And it's now connected in parallel with this generator, which is again attached to our open filament bulb. So again, let's just go ahead and turn on our AC output. And you can see nothing happens with our light bulb. So what I'll do now is go ahead and give it a single pulse. Again, this will be at four and a half thousand volts, but with the half cycle line simulator enabled. And let's just see if this will vaporize the filament. You can see what's happened. It definitely arced inside of the socket. And here you can see the filament on the light bulb is still pretty much all there. So I've gone ahead and repaired our socket. Essentially what I've done is I've taken some sandpaper to this and I removed all of the copper. And then I've added some electrical tape around our wires. And I used the Kapton tape to put a layer of insulation around the terminals. 
and then you can see I've also added some Corona dope down inside and I filled this end up with RTV so that's been drying for a while now so hopefully now this socket won't break down so we're going to be installing the same bulb that we were testing again this has the open filament so unfortunately it looks like the break in the filament is just too wide of a gap for us to jump across now but we do have the second light bulb that we can use at least the socket itself didn't break down this time okay I have our generator reset for 2000 volts let's just see how this light bulb looks with that same transient You can see it just barely glows. For the next test we'll go ahead and turn up the half cycle line simulator to its maximum output energy. Unfortunately, it looks like it still broke down inside of the socket. You can see the damage down inside of the socket. It actually did break the filament of the bulb, but had the socket itself not broke down, it would have shattered this light bulb. It looks like the transient generators are working just fine. Well, I think that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Until the next video. Later. Again, this transient generator has a overcurrent protection built into it. It's currently set for about 400 milliamps. See this bulb is drawing somewhere around 600 milliamps or so.